In this lesson, we do some work on binomial expansions. Now, the first thing we're going to do is consider something known as factorial notation. For example, 5 factorial. Okay, that's 5 with, a, with an exclamation mark at the end. So 5 factorial means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. In a similar way, 20 factorial would be 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 and keep on working all the way down times 3 times 2 times 1. Now there is a factorial button on your calculator. If you haven't used it before, worthwhile pausing now and seeing whether you can find it. Now NCR, okay, we often say that as N choose R, NCR. Now the N, N factorial over the R, R factorial. And the other thing on the bottom, we do the subtraction N minus R, so also on the bottom N minus R factorial. So that's an important formula to remember. Let's consider 5C3. So we'd write that as 5 factorial on the top over the 3 factorial and then we do the subtraction 5 minus 3 is 2 so we'd have 2 factorial also on the bottom. Now 5 factorial, what's that? Well, that's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over the 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1 and we're multiplying by 2 factorial on the bottom there. So in terms of cancelling down, you can see that that is the same as that, so out they go. So we've got 5 times 4 equals 20 over 2 times 1, so it's over 2. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. Now that's a fairly lengthy process. We can be much faster using the calculator. And the way we do that, the 5 choose 3, we'd press 5 and then that choose button, see if you can find it, and then the 3. That's 5 choose 3 and that works out to be 10. Now expanding brackets, a plus b to the power of n. Okay, the result is going to be, starting with the n, it'll be n choose 0, then a to the power of n, then b to the power of 0. And then basically, once you've written that first one down, the rest is in a sequence, okay? It's all very much a pattern. We've got n choose 0 there, the next term will be n choose 1. The a to the n, we subtract 1, we get a to the n minus 1. And that b to the 0, bump it up, b to the 1. So we had n choose 1, our next one will be n choose 2. And dropping down the a, it will be a to the n minus 2. And we bump up the b, b squared. Now that would continue on. Okay, we'll have n, this is towards the end, n choose n minus 1. We'd have a to the 1 and b to the n minus 1, our final term would be n choose n, a to the 0, b to the n. Let's look at some examples now. We're asked to evaluate, in part a, 6 factorial over 4 factorial, and then in part b, 80 factorial over 78 factorial. They deliberately chose some numbers bigger there in part b. You couldn't just do that on the calculator, it wouldn't work. Let's look at the solution then. Firstly to part a, 6 factorial over 4 factorial. Well, 6 factorial, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over the 4 factorial. And looking for common factors that would cancel each other out, out they go. So we're left with 6 times 5, which equals 30. Part B, 80 factorial divided by 78 factorial. Well, the 80 factorial would be writing 80 times 79, times 78, etc., all the way down to times 1. The 78 factorial is 78 times 77, times 76, again, all the way down to 1. Now, looking at that, top and bottom, they are common, so they will cancel out. So that 80 times 79, we could just write that down, and this 78 downwards, we could write a 78 factorial. I'm showing this method because we're going to skip that, that first step. And all of that is, of course, 78 factorial on the bottom. So those 78 factorials now can cancel, and we'll have 80 times 79, which is 6,320. All right, so the reason I showed you that, that 80 factorial over 78 factorial, it would be best to write down that as our first step. Terrific. Now, part two there, we're writing out expansions for the following. Part A, x plus 4 to the power of 5, and in part B, 
2x minus 3y all to the power of 4. Now part A, let's write that down. Now it's to the power of 5, so we start with 5, choose 0. And then we have x to the power of 5, and the 4 will be to the power of 0. Now it very much follows a pattern. The first term there, 5, choose 0, our next one will be 5, choose 1. And the x to the 5 drops down to be x to the 4, and the 4 to 0 bumps up to be 4 to the 1. Okay, from 5 choose 1, the next one would be 5 choose 2. x4 would go down to x cubed, 4 to the 1, bump it up to 4 squared. And we continue the pattern, 5 choose 2, the next one would be 5 choose 3. x cubed will bump down to x squared, 4 squared bump up to 4 cubed. And this continues on, 5 choose 4, x to the 1, 4 to the 4. And finally, 5 choose 5, x to the 0 and 4 to the 5. Now let's simplify this then. 5 choose 0 times 4 to the 0. You can do that in the calculator. You'll just get 1. So simply we'll have x to the 5 as our first term there. Then we have 5 choose 1 times 4 to the 1. We get positive 20. Then we have x to the 4 as well. The 5 choose 2 times 4 squared is plus 160 x cubed, 5 choose 3 times 4 to the power of 3 is plus 640, and we've got the x squared. The 5 choose 4 times 4 to the power of 4 works out to be plus 1280, and you've got the single x there. And finally, 5 choose 5 times 4 to the 5 is plus 1024, and x to the 0 is simply 1, which we don't need to write down. Part B. 2x minus 3y, all to the power of 4. Well, just before we start this one, let's go back. 5 choose 0. Try that on the calculator. You'll find is 1. 5 choose 5 on the calculator is also 1. So those C terms at the start and at the end are in fact what we call unity, okay, they equal 1. So there's no real need to put them down. So I'm not going to put them down anymore. So 2x to the power of 4 will be our first term. And then our next term will start using the 4. 4 choose 1. Now the 2x to the 4 goes down to be 2x cubed. And we're going to introduce the, not just 3y, but minus 3y. So it'll be minus 3y to the 1. Then we had 4 choose 1, so the next one will be 4 choose 2. The 2x cubed will drop down to 2x squared, and the minus 3y to the 1 will bump up to minus 3y squared. Okay, from 4 choose 2, the next one will be 4 choose 3. 2x squared will drop down to 2x to the 1, and the minus 3y squared will bump up to minus 3y cubed. Now, the minus 3y cubed, if you think about it, the next term involving 3y will be to the power of 4, and that will be the very last term. Okay, everything else will be unity, will be 1. So let's just fix everything up now. We'll have 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. Then we have x to the power of 4. Then we have, let's see, we've got 4 choose 1. And we're going to times by 2 cubed and also multiplying by minus 3 to the 1. All up, we get minus 96. Then we've got x cubed and y to the 1. So we'll write x cubed y. Our next term, what have we got? We've got 4 choose 2. We're timesing by 2 squared. And then we're timesing by minus 3 squared. So all up, we get plus 216. We've got the x squared and the y squared, so let's write that in. Our next term, 4 choose 3 times 2 to the 1 times minus 3 cubed is minus 216. And we have the x to the 1, which is just x, and the y cubed. And finally, we have minus 3 to the power of 4, which is plus 81, and y to the power of 4. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.